having just turned 28 years old, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. As someone who understands the importance of hair, both personally and professionally, I knew that there was one side effect of treatment that I really wanted to control. I wanted to keep as much of my hair as possible. I was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 33. I'm a working mom of three young boys. I'm 29 years old. I was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma. I went through 16 rounds of chemo, so I knew I'd lose for sure all of my hair. The first time I was diagnosed was in 2017, and we had a one-year-old daughter. And I went through chemo and radiation, um, and in that process, lost all of my hair. So I was diagnosed with stage 2B breast cancer. All the children's books on cancer were, you know, uh, talked about hair loss a lot. And I remember thinking that that's what they were really, you know, they're, they're little and they, they don't understand. They didn't quite get the big picture of, you know, the hair loss may be temporary, but the treatment could, you know, save my life. I heard about scalp cooling through my local salon. They hooked me up with Hair to Stay. When I got approved for my subsidy, it was instant tears. It was joy, it was everything. It made my whole day, it made my whole week, month, everything. I was just over the moon. My mom did some research on the cold cap therapy, but we found out it was very expensive and I wasn't able to afford it. Upon some more research, we found hair to stay. And hair to stay made it possible for me to keep my hair during chemotherapy. On days I didn't feel good, I would still feel better when I would see myself in the mirror because I felt more like myself. I felt more normal, like me. It looked like me. If it wasn't for your team, I would definitely sadly been part of the 8% who have refused chemotherapy just because of my hair. You have saved my life, and because of Hair to Stay, I was able to say okay to my doctor's recommended treatment plan for me. My hair is everything to me. Through my research of scalp cooling, I came across Hair to Stay and immediately fell in love with their mission. Before my treatment started, I began to fundraise for Hair to Stay on behalf of patients who cannot afford scalp cooling. And I feel a particular solidarity with young thrivers, many like myself, who are just trying to navigate adulthood, figuring out their career path and life goals, dating, or even have young children at home. I completed chemotherapy in December, and as you can see, I'm liking my new hairstyle, and I'm on the road to recovery.